New details in the conviction of a former Conroe police officer. He was found guilty of shooting and killing a man, but has now been given probation by a jury. There are questions about his sentence. Some are even asking if this is even legal. Our Alice Barr has been following the reaction and joins us live now from Conroe. Alice? The Conroe police chief and the Montgomery County District Attorney just told us that it was the right move to convict that former Conroe police sergeant for killing a suspected shoplifter. And they said that if you trust the jury's decision there, then you also have to trust their choice of that sentence, five years probation. Now, yesterday, when a Montgomery County jury convicted former Sergeant Jason Blackwelder of manslaughter, he could have gotten up to 20 years in prison. But the same jury chose probation, and that was an option because he has no criminal history. Blackwelder shot and killed 19-year-old Russell Rios last summer. He was off duty when he saw Rios accused of shoplifting inside a Walmart in Conroe. Investigators say Blackwelder chased Rios out of the store into the woods. The former officer claimed it was self-defense during a struggle, but the investigation showed that Rios was shot in the back of the head. The Rios family's attorney told me this afternoon they were grateful for the conviction, but certainly had hope for a much more serious sentence. And the district attorney said the community, though, should feel confident that there was no preferential treatment here. The fact that one of their own was held to the same standards as everybody else and was convicted in the same courtrooms that we, have been, that we convict habituals, child offenders, sexual molesters, and this officer was treated no better than any other common criminal. And he got what he deserved, which is a conviction of guilty. There were two more misdemeanor charges pending against Black Welder, including falsifying a report. But the Montgomery County District Attorney said today he won't pursue those because Black Welder has already received the largest punishment that a jury is going to hand down in this case. Now, the Rios family is still suing Black Welder and the city of Conroe in federal court. So stay tuned for that. Reporting live in Conroe, Alice Barr, KHOU 11 News.